Hey gamer, in the past I've done videos where I react to Rocket League videos with no views or I react to your montages or something, but for this I wanted to try something a little different. So we're going to be scouring the world wide web on the hunt to find the oldest Rocket League video in existence. Most of you probably know, but there was a prequel to Rocket League called Supersonic Acrobatic Powered Battle Cars, so we're going to be looking at some of those super old videos, along with some really nostalgic videos so you can see what it was like back in the early days of Rocket League. And in a lot of these videos I was watching pro players or top 100 players at the time, so just keep in mind, these videos were recorded 5 plus years ago, so basically everyone sucked at Rocket League back then. So yeah, we're just going to be watching a few of Rocket League's oldest videos, so make sure you're sub to the channel if you do end up enjoying the content, and make sure to use creator code MUSTY in the item shop, and let's get into it. Okay, so this is the video that actually inspired me to make this entire video, because I saw this on my uh, recommended page like five years after it actually came out. So here's what it is. It's Squishy Muffins. I think one of his best aerial plays. So just keep in mind, this was five years ago. Hey guys, it's Squishy Muffins, and I'm just going to show you a real quick clip from an aerial I got in a match. I'm going to be uploading an entire aerial compilation from me. Aerial Hopefully compilation. Enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Camera shake on. He still has the same exact outro. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh my god. Alright, I, that was a good shot. Uh, I don't know what song that is. It kind of kind of came up on me a little bit. Would've been cool if you maybe had like a fade in or something, or like a warning that uh, that it happened. So yeah, the compilation is coming soon, guys, so make sure to look out, you know, for that in the future. And in all seriousness, if we rewatch this and like try to compare this to today's ranks because Squishy is at the top of his game, you know, in, in this day. Like that aerial, especially considering it's a highlight play, I would say like gold or plat, and honestly leaning more towards gold if he's like clipping that as one of his best shots. Some more nostalgic videos here. We got Jazer Signature Freestyle Friday series. Uh, this is the very first episode of it. I actually haven't ever seen this, I don't think, so let's give it a watch. So I started playing the game around February of 2016, so I wasn't really getting into it too much yet, so that's why I've never seen this one. But let's see uh, Jazer's first ever Freestyle Friday. Oh yeah, and he just hit a million subs on that. That's, that's insane. Honestly, I don't see the freestyle. Okay, there we go. Honestly, oh. Okay, I thought he was gonna hit that. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, just remember this is 2016. Okay, there's teammate. Oh, I didn't realize his teammate actually hit that. That's actually not too bad. He's not like cutting it like he does now in 2021. This wouldn't really work nowadays. It's showing all the stuff in between actually hitting the shots. People's attention spans are low and like you, you can't really do that anymore for the YouTube algorithm. They're already going for like, uh, like team pinch plays and like passing in the air like in 2016, which Honestly blows my mind. Was, I don't even need that stuff in 2021. Wait, this could be it. No, it's too early. Dang it, Jazer. Honestly, decent. Jazer, Jazer. Align the music better, bro. It would have been 10 times more epic. Really cool shot. And it's just crazy. I'll go to one of his videos now. Okay, so his most most recent Freestyle Friday. Just to put it into perspective how much better he's gotten. Quality of the videos, much better, obviously. Jazer face cam. Clean angle. He invented his own Jazer flick now. He's not even looking at the ball. Oh, okay, I don't even... I couldn't even dream yeah. of doing that. Alright, and this is 2021 Jazer. The, the shot he'd be proud of. Bro! That is ridiculous. That angle doesn't even fit on the protractor. Alright, and another one, you guys may know the channel Rocket League Effects. They have the Rocket League Insanity series that still goes on to this day, but here is the very first episode. It's like a, a pro match. Lachino. Honestly, a decent shot. The two touch air dribble. The thing is, this is like literally the highest level gameplay possible. I by power at the time was the best team in the entire world. The thing is that that would never go in in like 2021 just because the defense is so good. You have to get so creative now to even score goals. No, I remember the shot, dude. This shot. I remember seeing the shot on Reddit. And I was like, the fact that this is possible for me to pass like that in the air, that like inspired me to like grind the game a ton. Just like the fact that I saw that was possible. And this, I remember it's a Lachino clip. It's like a super good shot like that the aerial twirls and everything but 2021 freestylers would get so mad like that it hit the ground and bounced before it went in oh i've never seen this on reddit pre-flip that's before pre-flips were like really a thing before it was called a pre-flip season all these all these clips were from reddit man i remember like way back in the day nice play honestly like i'm more impressed than i thought i would be oh marky duda yeah i remember this 
huge fake. I remember this too, air dribble. And then the pop. The, the, the shots that were like good at the time were just like weird shots where it's like an air dribble and then like something after, like an air dribble with something different. Ceiling shot, no, the ceiling shots literally weren't a thing in uh, 2016. So nice little air dribble. Okay. That is ridiculous. Even for, for today's standards. These ceiling shots weren't even a thing. Nowadays, even if you're platinum, you would you'd be gone on the ceiling there. Most of these players are like top 100, super high grand champ. Bro, these shots are so dumb. That is so insane though. Okay, pro lobby, pro lobby. Oh, and here's Konovi. Again, like, this is a very straightforward air dribble. I don't even need to twirl too much. Yeah, no air rolls or anything. But in 2016, like, the skill ceiling, like, the skill of the players is just, everyone is just, maybe, like, a diamond two highest, I would say. It's a crazy angle. I remember seeing this. But now, like, my Astro would just be, he would have just turned differently in that. It's, like, literally the easiest day of his life. Like, and, like, at the time in 2016, like, you can't really understand it, but, like, that shot seemed unsavable. That's a really good shot. That's just one of those shots, it's just like an open net, but it's really hard to score. That is literally just a, a completely basic shot in 2021, though. But at the time, it seemed like the craziest angle out there. That save is insane. I'm seeing that on Reddit. Even for today's standards, that would get 10,000 FOS on Reddit. That's crazy, dude. And just for reference, this is what like the most skilled freestylers, the most skilled clip hitters look like in 2021. Every, you can see how much faster they are just moving around the field. Again, a completely ridiculous shot. That's one of the shots now I'm like genuinely in, like so impressed with. I don't know how he even thinks to do that. Putting this in comparison, a player in 2016 here would maybe get one touch, or if you're the most mechanically gifted player, like Lachinio at the time, you get maybe two touches max and you know, guarantee yourself to get past the defender. But now people are just, they just get bored. This guy's just bored. A reverse pogo, flip reset, double touch. Insane shot there from Dunn. And I remember seeing this video way back. I didn't watch it when it was like trending or anything, but I saw it a very long time ago. Kronovi was the number one ranked player in the world. He still is, I mean, five years later, one of the best in the world still. And Gibbs, uh, Gibbs fallen off quite a bit, you know, let's be real here. But Gibbs at the time, was the number two in the entire world. So this is like a huge deal, number one in the world versus number two in the world. This is Gibbs' point of view. So I guess the meta at the time was just to not go for the kickoff. Oh, I had no boost, that was awkward. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I could pick up some of the boost pads there, I didn't get any. All right. <laughs> yeah, I literally oh my had god. Literally had no boost, unsavable shot. It's so like most people are having trouble even finding the ball. So this is like peak gameplay. Kronovi has it now, and now he'd be going for an air dribble, he has 100 boost, but that's like, literally just isn't a thing. Oh, no. Okay, that's a really good flick though. Should be a goal. Okay, Gibbs actually gets back oh, in I hit that quick. pretty poorly. Good save. That's kind of shadowing really well there. Oh, Savable shot. 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 Honestly, Kronovi's popping off right now, let's be real. Save, should be saved. Nice, and the meta then isn't to keep possession or anything, it's just like, if you have a bounce and the ball's coming near you, just bang the ball, like, every time, because the other player won't really be able to control yeah. it very well. Side flip coming in from, from Gibbs. Yeah. Kickoffs, no one flips into it uh, twice, so just drive up to it and flip into it. Huge shot coming in from Kronovi. Good save. Good save by Gibbs, just as Kronovi says. Uh, it's not the best shot. Should be a goal, oh no, the Athena yeah. flick into the right corner. It was, it was even a thing in 2015. Oh. Might be a goal. Oh, I didn't realize I was that far out. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you're. Yeah, it's right. crazy. I I, I want to see Kronovi's reaction to this. I mean, at the time, it's like a, a fast shot coming at you. You're like you're panicking. Doesn't seem like there's much you can do. So I really want Kronovi. Kren I'll ask him if he can. Uh, I, I want him to react to, to this. Oh yeah, half lips weren't a thing. He would be half flipping back here. That's crazy. Oh, Kronovi with the. <laughs> With the whiff. <laughs> and oh, gives the insane the dribble there. past him. Now, like, if he did that, he would be, like, so mad at himself. And, they, and he's like, oh, yeah, it's just, you know, like a... In random error, it happens. Kronovi? Wow. <laughs> that was not intentional. Wait, what? I was trying to get it close enough so that it would go out. Like, I was trying to hit the corner yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. And I hit it, but it didn't really... Wow. <laughs> that... 
It's very interesting from Kenobi. Honestly, like a, a good shot. His first aerial of the game, I think. Kickoff. Can Gibbs get the comeback? He does. I feel like there's probably more kickoff goals then compared to now. These kickoffs are more consistent. It's like kickoff goals still happen quite a bit, but not quite as much. I'm honestly like, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Like, I don't know who's gonna win this, dude. Kenobi's gonna mess it up again. Oh, it works. It'll open net. Is he gonna score it? He is. Yeah. That might be game. I honestly don't know who wins this. I think that's game. Yeah, Kenobi shuts it down for zero seconds. Kenobi uh, does end up winning it. Takes the dub. You see, I even commented in 2018, two years ago, like that, I was here. And just to put that 1v1 into comparison, here we have another, like, what would be world class for today's standards, AJ versus Kinzei. So let's just look at a few goals and, like, see what, like, the meta is like in 2021 for the best 1v1 players in the world. Kickoffs are a lot faster. You can just tell how much faster everyone is. It's gotta be AJ. Air dribble bump, but up. air dribble bumps, that's like the meta now. Because 2017 is like air dribbles, and like 2018 it's like really, really good air dribbles. 2019, everyone can block air dribbles, so the air dribble bump becomes the meta. That's why like, it's so intriguing to me to, to figure out what will become the meta in like five or six years from now. I literally have no idea. Alright, so back in 2015, like the best outplay you could do is like an aerial. We have AJ here, double flip reset to double touch. That is the most mechanical outplay right now, but maybe in six years it'll be like something I don't even know. And the thing is, the opponent almost saved that too, like we're inches away from saving it. Okay, here's a montage from Cuxer97 back from 2015, back before the game even came out for Xbox, I believe, or like maybe right around when it came out. Dude, I really wish Cuxer would keep doing content, man. Cuxer, if you're watching, dude, like start uploading. People want to see your gameplay, man. Oh, the Cuck Swiss. Yeah, that's, that's why people, people call it the Cuck Swiss, is because he kind of popularized that backwards diagonal spin in the air. The meta now is using arrow left and arrow right. It's simply more efficient than doing this now, but I don't even think arrow left or right was a thing. These are still insane. Like back then it was so rare to do that because you couldn't really maneuver your car to get a good pass or a really good uh, angle on the ball. Like you have to just get everything lined up right from your touch and hopefully it works out. I was like, at the time especially, dude, that passing play was like game changing. People were like figuring out, okay, like you can pass to your teammates. That kind of reminds me of what Jazer, uh, what, like, what his video is like. It's kind of like slow, but cool freestyles. And it's just crazy how slow everything is. Like, it's just insane. And that's it, dude. That just brings back the memories, man. So much nostalgia in that montage. All right, I'm trying to find John Sandman's first ever Rocket League video now. All right, so this is one of John Sandman's earliest videos. The best comeback of 2015. Oh, he's rocking the Merc. Okay, it's a uh, sombrero hat, I think. Bang, camera shake, really emphasize that. It's like I'm going down, down, I feel like John would still get just as excited from that shot now. John is the same exact person, man. It's just insane. Okay, the hat trick coming in from Mr. Sandman. A hey, three open nets, but John, I respect you, bro. Five, five, around 10 seconds remaining. Puts it on net. Okay, good defense, stellar defense. There it is. Wow. He's using voice chat in the game. Nowadays, the meta would definitely be for John to just bump that defender. That would like be the smartest way to get that goal. His bumps are so useful nowadays. All right, and something I did, which I didn't expect, I went on Kronovi's channel and he has a video from 10 years ago, an entire decade of Rocket League. This is a prequel to Rocket League called Supersonic Acrobatic Power Battle Cars. I'm sure most of you have heard of it, but if you haven't, it was basically a scuffed version of Rocket League. So, this is a double touch aerial from 10 years ago. And I honestly bet a lot of y'all weren't even born when this video came out. So blurry, Jesus Christ. You got the aerial and they kind of bounced off of it and the double touch. This is just so, like this is before my time. Like I didn't, I never heard of Rocket League. I was, how old was I? I was 11 years old when Kronovi hit this. Slow motion, epic cinematics by Kronovi. So he touches it. Bounces off the ground. Honestly, compare that to the shot we were just looking at. Kind of like the, the pogo. This could be the first pogo ever. Honestly, I just want to watch this again here. Like, that's, you know, that's what Arsenal would call a butt bounce. Butt bounce. <laughs> <laughs> End of the double touch. 
I'm not sure how much of that was luck, how much of it was skill, but at the time, I mean, he must have been freaking out. This looks like Rocket League if you bought it on Wish.com. All right, and I had to include this one in there. The uh, My first video on my channel, I don't, it has 2 million views. It probably is the same thing that happened with Squishy's video, where it just gets recommend. Yeah. Three years it gets recommended on the uh, on the recommended page. I don't know why, but uh, apparently the algorithm works like that for your, for people's first videos. But it's from 2017. I'm like a little later than everyone else. I was already Grand Champ at the time, but a lot of people think this is like the first musty flick ever or something. But it's actually not. Not even the first musty flick I did. It was just some random clip I did where my teammate told me to musty flick. It, it was it's been a thing for maybe like four or five months at that point. And uh, and I just did one and it was like a, a super cool thing. And I uploaded it to YouTube because I didn't know how to zoom in on the chat for my editing software. So I got someone else to edit it for me with it zoomed in. That's the only reason it's on the channel just cause I needed help with editing or something. It wasn't even meant to be a public video, but that is uh, my first ever video. All right guys, so to finish off the video, I have found something even before Pernovi's 2010 video. This is from March of 2008. I would have been seven years old. I would have been seven. Here's what 2008 Rocket League gameplay looks like. This is uh, on the PS3. This could, I think this is the oldest recorded footage of Rocket League or the prequel to Rocket League. March of 2008. I don't think demos were a thing. I don't know if they were or not. This is where it all started, man. And <laughs> no one knew how to like do anything. Brings you back to the old times, man. You just, you see the ball and you just try to hit it. Uh, that's like all you have to do. I think this is, isn't really like, oh, it is a montage. I don't know if it's like a montage or just kind of showing gameplay in general. These are all decent shots. No goal explosions in 2008, apparently. Honestly, I would have missed that. Good cinematic shots. Uh, there probably wasn't like a replay mode back then, but it was like, it's from Psyonix, uh, like the developers of Supersonic Acrobatic Power Battle Cards. What the heck? Is that a, a mechanic we haven't discovered yet or something? I don't know how he popped the ball and his car. He was turtling, kind of sick. What is the defender doing? Wait, <laughs> what is this? You see that little speck right there? I think that's a defender. On the nose of their car, they're just vibing out. I don't know what they were doing back in 2008, man. But this is what it looked like. What is the green stuff? What is that? Is that boost? There's small pads, obviously. They look the same in 2020 about. That has to be a big boost, surely. But aerials were a thing. That's kind of an aerial. Kind of like just a double jump, but still. It could be the first aerial ever in Rocket League history that we just saw. So the ball could go in the goal, but like you could still defend it. I don't understand that. I'm glad they did add a uh, goal explosion, so. But this, I'll have the link if you guys uh, want to check it out for yourself, but I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the oldest Rocket League video in existence, so make sure to check it out. But yeah, I figured this would be a decent spot to end the video. It's the oldest Rocket League video I could find, so I hope you guys did end up enjoying this one. So if you did, make sure you're sub to the channel, and all the videos I watched, by the way, are gonna be linked in the description, so like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.